Black and Amuse. Welcome to Black and Black House Infinity. I'm your host, Cronus, coming to you live and direct from the stat. Mm. Smoke me out, fam, with that dang shit. Wait, oh. we're not in a snack anymore? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. We're in a stack. We're not in the dro. We're not in the dro. Oh, the dro. My bad. Fucking my intro, man. Sorry, man. Damn, I was on a roll, too. Anyway, yeah. on my right, your boy Blue. Um, Condoms and turkey bacon is basically the same goddamn thing. What? Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> on my far right, old ninja. Uh, I might be amused. I'm just saying. <laughs> you might be amused. All right. Well, that's that's all I got. Well, my whole my intro was because you don't need either of them. Oh, that's true. In your life. <laughs> but you should. You should. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you want to live longer, yeah. you should eat some turkey bacon and <laughs> work on them. <laughs> wow. Just, I guess, PSA, don't you, turkey basers are not good contraceptives. Just saying. Or are they? Oh, yeah, are they? <laughs> <laughs> Suck it back out. Oh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, Prodigy is out. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, he chasing more footage, probably, yeah, and probably. getting arrested. Clean out his carpet. Oh, uh, <laughs> so shit on his carpet. More shit stains. Stitch is still on a hiatus, uh, saving the city. So he will yeah. be back. He won't be back reliably for a while. So I already was on, like on an island or some shit, yeah, like training. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like uh, like Oliver Queen. Yeah, yeah. He went yeah. back to the island. So he's on Lee on you. There you Get go. back to his roots. Yeah, he's on Lee on you. That's all good. All right, so what's going on? We got some uh, RPs. Actually, no. First, first this in all the up. chat. First in the chat would be, I think it was Matt from Pre-Recorded Live. Is that right? Really? Yes. Matt is back. Matt is back. What up, Welcome Matt? And all, about, all is good, man. We miss you. <laughs> And our listener of the week would be the animator. Thank you for listening a lot. Oh, know. shit. What's so, up? Yeah. Wait, the so, animator? Yeah, the animator. I wonder, I wonder what kind of animation so, he does. Been listening for a long time. So, so hey, what animator, you? comment on our uh, SoundCloud and let us know what you do. Because uh, that's very interesting to fi- figure out who you are. Uh, you know who's been sure the animator? You know who's been <laughs> with us for a while? Maybe he's a wizard. He, like, animates fucking, like, things that attack people. What? I'm just saying, like, maybe. Okay, sure. Um, so there's actually, uh, I'm going to give a personal shout out to, he's been a listener for a while. He's part of his own podcast. Uh, he's hard to pronounce his name. It's a uh, Moramir, uh, podcast or whatnot. He's been with us since almost week, week one. Is the last it, name like something with a D or something like that? Like, something like that. Yeah. I can't, his name's hard to pronounce, yeah. but he's a redheaded guy. He's part of his own podcast. He's been an avid listener. Uh, we see you. He comments a lot. Uh, he always gives good insight. Um, you can check out his podcast. Uh, we'll add the description. You don't know the, the name show. of his podcast? You fucked it I can't up. pronounce it. It's it's prepared. difficult, but yeah, I okay. fucked it up too. But yeah, we see him. Demonair? Demonair? I don't know. I'm gonna yeah, it's that. like Moramir, Daphneir. I can't. He's uh, he's foreign. There you go. What's up, Mr. 619? See you up in his chat room. 619, huh? All right. Yo, all right. So, uh, who's our piece this week? Well, I know who. Oh, we got a so we got, huge one. We got, we'll, we'll start with this one. We have uh, Stefan Carl Stefanison. Who? So, he is. I thought it was a chick. <laughs> no, he's uh, he's an actor. He was famous for uh, the villain on Lazy Town, kids cartoon show. Yeah. Wait, not the guy that wore like the blue jumpsuit the or guy, a purple the, jumpsuit? The, the guy who was a derivative of Strawberry Shortcakes. Villain, that what? guy. That dude passed away. Yeah, he passed away. He 43. passed away last week. He was forty-three years old. Dude, how old. did he die? Holy shit! Um, bio- he had a bowel duct cancer, which is he, fucking awful. Yes. Yeah. Damn, that yeah. sucks. So he's a, he's an Icelandic actor. Which, oh. you, I mean, if you watch the show, you can never tell. He had perfect English. Yeah. But yeah, he's an Icelandic actor. Uh, he was only forty-three. He had four kids. That guy was a really good villain too. Yeah, but lazy town. Ta- well, to me, he's his. Likeness and villainy was very similar to Strawberry Shortcake's villain. Yeah, the, the, uh, the only thing you said that, like, I saw that, like, yeah. that's him. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's I'm him. gonna get your strawberry mustache, almost the same, but it's yeah. unfortunate. He was only 43, which is not really that old. There's like a meme out there where, like, it just loops him, like, performing this one song and just, like, keeps looping it over on top of each other. They, and they, it's just fucking funny as hell. They do that a few times for Lazy Town. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. The name of his character is Robbie Rotten. Yes, that's what it is. Yeah, he plays Robbie Rotten Damn, uh, dude, on Lazy sucks. Town. It does suck because uh, a lot of people grew I didn't know what it was because I wasn't a kid at the town at the 2000s. But if you grew up watching Lazy Town, which I knew a lot of people did, you know, you knew this guy and he was probably your 
you know, favorite villain, maybe your first villain. How old was he? 43. Damn, that's only like four years older than me. He's not, yeah, he's Damn. not. He, I mean, he died of a sickness. It's unfortunate, but there you go. He's actually in a couple of big budget movies as well. Mm. So, and then we have a iconic figure, the Queen of Soul, as well as the Queen of Shade, <laughs> yeah. Aretha Franklin. <laughs> passed away. Now, we had talked about this last week on the podcast. Yeah. She was in ill health mm-hmm. and very close to meeting her demise, but she passed away shortly after our podcast. Uh, she's been a lot of things to a lot of people. Uh, matriarch, a icon. A inspiration to a lot of people. Uh, civil rights activist, very outspoken, shade thrower, mm-hmm. um, influencer, she uh, was a diva, but not a diva. Yeah, she you know that when she was when she sang in studio, she demanded that the AC be turned off. Really? No matter what the temperature was, because she said that the the when air conditioned air messed up her singing voice. Yeah, she. I mean, it makes sense. She did a lot of things that were would be considered, I guess, unconventional, but she kept it real. Oh Basically, yeah. Basically, if you've ever seen her. I guess interviews with uh, when what people asked Aretha what she thought of up and coming singers, and she would tell it like it is, no sugar coating, no nothing. Either she would not say anything disparaging or anything at all, or she would give high praise. One of the two. And the one thing that I I keep forgetting is that she had this decades long feud with Patti LaBelle. Oh yeah, well, they two, hated fucking each other. But it was two iconic women who sang very soulful, very memorable, very like you know recognizable songs, and yet they hated each other. I wonder why. I don't even know. It's, uh, you know what? I bet you it's over dick. I'm just saying. You never know. <laughs> they're, they're they're their generation of uh, Maya and uh, Brandy fighting over the fight over mine. Day, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could could be. Well, no, because I know that the news media fucked up and posted up a picture of oh, Patti that, LaBelle. So that was uh, Fox, Fox News. News. Yeah. And they posted Patti LaBelle, which was all bad. But yeah. R.I.P. to the Queen. But of she Soul. did. She did like not just sing. Like she was in like a bunch of movies too. Like at least the one I can think of is she was in Blues Brothers, and that was kind of a signature like event for her being on that show. She didn't do a whole lot of movie roles. No. She, her, she would, you know, she was in uh, her famous role was in Blues Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, what you, is that what you just said. Yeah. You yeah. just said. Christ. <laughs> Welcome to Thirty Seconds Ago. Yeah. Yeah. So what I song mean, did she do? I, oh, I can't fucking remember. Wait, what do you mean? And Blues Brothers, she did a... Oh, she did... But did it wasn't Respect? Yeah, I think she did Respect in uh, Blues... Let me look it up real quick. But, yeah, she, uh... She was part of a singing group, I believe, coming up. I want to... I keep thinking she's part of the Supremes, but that's Diana Ross. Yeah, that's Diana Ross. But... But, um, I I, I heard that she didn't have a will when she passed away. A will or a writ or some kind of... I don't know, document it's, it's she indicating. Had a, she had a net worth in excess of $80 million. God Ew. dang. That's a big deal. So, which is sad because now the government's going to come in and, like, divvy up her assets. So the song she performed on the Blues Brother was oh. You Gotta Think. You Gotta oh, Think. Oh, yeah. Uh, the internet just dropped. So oh. keep going. Okay. Okay. Well, so for those of you who are listening to us via audio, our live stream just died. But we're going to keep it rolling because that's what we're going to do. We're going to fix it in post. I'm connected to uh, other sources, so we, I'm what, letting everybody what, know. What does that mean, Blue? I'm co- I don't want to say their name because... Oh, uh, I thought you were about to say some kind of hentai. No, no, because they're... <laughs> like, I got a bill from them earlier this week, and that shit went up. It's... 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 It's circling around the 200 range. I'm like, you know what? I gotta cancel this shit. God, I don't want to mention the company's name, but their their name rhymes with um. Oh uh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> God dang. It's so, umcast. Yeah. Okay, for sure. <laughs> but Aretha That's Franklin, like, a real one. R.I.P. Yeah. to the Queen of Soul. Moving on. What we got? But you know what? Growing up as a kid, my mom always said that we were related to Aretha Franklin, but I never took that shit for what it was. To be I honest. mean, I guess you technically could. I mean, try to get your money, man. Just be like, I need DNA tests. <laughs> be like, let me see what's going on. You got a thing. So we'll see. Uh, All right, where are we going? Let's start with let's start with uh, what some of the big stuff that's going on the uh, GamesCon because there's I believe it's still going on, but. Uh, there's some stuff that's been out 
We want to talk about what we've seen so far? Actually, yeah, I'll talk about Biomutant because that was one that was missing from E3 that I was amazed was not uh, shown during E3. So uh, it, the game looks actually pretty good. It looks like it might be kind of the next uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Really? So it, it wasn't as serious because they had like a, a narrator narrating everything, mm-hmm. which is, it was, they kind of had like a lighthearted, lighthearted humor to it, but. It was one of the games where when you change, because you can change your stats, I think, on the fly. And when you change your stats, it changes the way you look. Because you're basically like a mutant, and you have to like change your mutant abilities. So if you want to be like a tank, you'll look like a tank. Or if you want to look like, you know, a sniper, you'll look kind of like more like a sniper. And they showed, like, the, the combat mechanics seemed really uh, involved. Because you had, like, a gun um, and, like, some melee weapons. And you, you could charge up, like, this uh, crazy, like, meter and do, like, super moves and shit. And it seemed like uh, the gameplay was really smooth and, and really well thought out. So I'm really looking forward to that game coming out now that I saw the, the gameplay for it. But I don't, I didn't catch a release date. So, hmm. yeah, I saw very, very little. But I did see, like, he had some kind of staff while he's fighting some giant, like, lizard monster and, like, some little minions or whatnot. I mean, it looked yeah. like Shifu fighting a bunch of people. But it yeah. did look involved. It did look interesting. I did notice there was some humor to it. Um, and I was like, well, this still looks interesting. But, yeah, there was no uh, release date or whatnot. Well, when it was shooting, it was funny because it would say, like, pew, pew, pew. Like, the words <laughs> yeah. pew would come out. <laughs> That's awesome. yeah. It would be like in, the, like in the anime how they have, like, the Japanese characters. Character. Oh, I guess, yeah, in English should be pew, pew, pew. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, uh, it was funny because in, like, the Lego Batman movie, like, the characters, when they would shoot, they would actually say pew, pew, pew at they shot. And that shit was so fucking funny in that movie. Hmm. Uh, let's see. What else came from GameCon? So, one of the other big news is Life is Strange 2. I didn't even know they were making another one, um, but everyone was all about it. Actually, what is GameCon? Because for people who don't know what it is, because I actually never heard of GameCon. GamesCon is a, like another trade show, but it's in Germany. And it's okay. just as big as uh, E3. Some people say bigger, but they if there's a big anticipated game and it doesn't show up at E3, it's most likely going to show up at GamesCon, just like Biomutant, like we were talking about. Um, there's a game that everyone's been talking about. We saw it at E3. There's some gameplay footage they showed, I think, today, which was Resident Evil 2. Two. So, they, yeah, they re, they're they redoing... Capcom's redoing Resident Evil 2 for the current gen. Why does they did that already? It's not released yet. Oh, okay. So, all I want to know is, can you walk and shoot? If not, <laughs> you can go fuck yourself. Yeah, god dang. Well, I mean, they fixed that in 7, but still. It's, 7? Yeah. It took them 6 fucking games? Are you or, no, not 7. I'm sorry, 6. Resident okay. Evil 6 fixed that. So, 5 games. That, yeah. That's a lot of games to not be able to walk and shoot. Still, so... I mean, it looks cool, but, like, I saw... I was talking to Hobby from uh, PlayStation Trophy Hunters, and I was asking why the game is priced at $70 fucking dollars for, for a fucking game a that's a remake. I mean, yes. Well, it's the game, updated, though. It is updated. Yes, yeah. I understand that you have to do new models. You have to do new backgrounds. No, you got to so actually do different sort of gameplay. However, here. it's a game that came out, yeah. what, 10, 15, or longer years ago? Usually, well, re- usually remakes are cheaper because the code is still there. Most of the code, yeah. The they're doing tweaks, so they they have to do resolution tweaks, guaranteed. But if they did a new control scheme, which I kind of doubt because it's Capcom, um, it's still relatively the same game. It does look like some new steps because they show the video that I saw was Claire Redfield going through a corridor fighting like this crazy monster where you have to shoot the eye and like the guy purposely missed so you could see how Claire can die. I guess I, I think I played the demo of this because it was, I mean, it, it was pretty much the same concept as the original game, but the gameplay, like, or I mean, mainly visually, it was like a totally different fucking game. Hmm. Like the graphics and stuff were like updated and, and like the cutscenes and stuff were like more smoother and more like high res and stuff like that. So, I mean, $70 is a lot of fucking money, but... So, it's, I guess, from what Hobby was telling me, it's for, like, the uh, collector's edition or collector's deluxe fucking stick it in your ass edition. So... I guess yeah, that's in cool. In your ass edition, that's yeah. that's uh, pretty extreme. Yeah, it's extreme. You're supposed to get uh, maximum pleasure, apparently. Like, I would pay $70 for the Final Fantasy VII remake, because that's, damn near a whole different game, but it just follows the same story. Uh, well, let's see how much it, it is $70. That's yeah. the, oh, that's the deluxe edition. Okay, yeah. it's, it's 60 bucks. 
So, yeah, but sixty dollars for a game. So when they redid the first Resident Evil on like the GameCube and whatnot, and like I think PS3, Xbox, it was like thirty bucks or twenty bucks even. But sixty dollars. It was just like thirty or forty. That's what I'm used to. Like yeah, regardless. that's what I would think. I, I, yeah. Honestly, I don't really. I'm not gonna play the game, so I don't really give a shit. I, I, I probably play the game because like that was kind of my first, not my first PlayStation game, but like I that was like the first game I was like I gotta fucking pass this game multiple times. Like I I played it at least like maybe five times just to unlock all the different characters because there's one character called Tofu Man that you had to like play through the game a certain way to be able to unlock him and like playing with him was like a lot of fucking fun. I think the first Resident Evil game I actually played from start to finish was Resident Evil 0. Like Resident Evil 2, 1, 2, and 3, I only played a little bit of it and never got even close to the end. I've seen people like beat it while I'm there, but... Actually, you know what? Resident Evil 2 Director's Cut was actually the first game I bought for my PlayStation. Really? Yeah, I like I remember buying it from Tower Records and I, I bought that game and also bought a... Um, Twisted Metal. Those are the oh, two first Twisted Metal. Two, the first two games I bought for my PlayStation. So I remember they ported Resident Evil 2 to the N64. Yes, they did. And you can still get that. They still sell that game, like at shows or like trade shows, like at uh, Silicon Valley Comic Con. Mm-hmm. They had it for sale there for like 20, 30 bucks. I was still surprised. I'm like 30 bucks. Oh man, you can buy. It. You can get the ROM for that and play it. Uh, yeah, download it and play it. But I mean, if pie. you still if you still have the N64 like I do. You could, you know, get the cartridge and play it, but you know it is what it is. Don't get me wrong; the new version of Resident Evil 2 looks great. I'm not uh, sure about paying like sixty dollar game unless they added like new features, like possibly co-op or some kind of new modes, like uh, you know their uh, shit. I forgot the mode they call where you're like doing the time modes and stuff. Oh, like the. Oh, got it. What is it called? I can't remember. We try to pass it as fast as you can, right? Yeah, but you have Time to trials. Add, Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But if they add that kind of stuff, then I can see that. There's some kind of, like, you know, multiplayer component out, uh, alongside the campaign. Mm, maybe. But we'll see. It's going to be a crowded fall like we talked about already, so. And then uh, they were showing some more of Starlink, which is pretty cool because it's... Um it's oh, that game like looked a, great. Yeah, it's like a flying simulator, sort of. It's like a space battle thing. But on the Nintendo Switch version, uh, you can play as uh, Fox McCloud. And mm-hmm. with, uh, the, what is it called? The Star Fox fucking the spaceship thing? What are they call Mana? Uh, Air, Air Wings? Air Wings? Air Wings? Air Wings or Air Wings? Something like that. But yeah, seemed seem pretty dope. And uh, you can... Oh, I thought the game you had to buy the toy. To click on your controller, but apparently you don't. So you can get whatever, I guess planes and stuff that you are spaceships that you want and just download them or whatever you don't have to have the actual toy but having the toy is pretty cool i mean uh, i thought it was kind of silly until i played what was it the marvel infinity games and shit like that where you had to put the little toy on the oh pad. yeah i thought they stopped doing those oh the amiibos and yeah they're not, they're, well they're not, not amiibos, amiibos but they're like i forget what they call them well they i know lego does it now they have like the yeah. lego dimension they use that same kind of technology yeah, same deal it's, it's pretty cool cause especially when somebody dies you just get another toy and put it on they come in the game, and, and you can take them to your friend's house and shit, mm-hmm. and it saves all your shit on the uh, on the actual toy. So that that's pretty dope. Oh, what was they called? It was I know it wasn't Mebos. Uh, there's a few of them because Sky uh, what was it Sky Bur- not Skyburners Skydivers or whatever where you're the foxes and stuff they have the same kind of thing. Yeah, the foxes, what? what are you talking about? Yeah, there's a there's another franchise that did the same thing. I forgot what it's, it's uh it's called Sky Skyriders or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't uh, know. They I know that they're sold right next to the Nintendo stuff. I forgot what they call them, but yeah, those are out there too. Um, Prodigy had posted they showed more gameplay from Sakiko or something like Sekiro? that. Sekiro? Yeah. Shadows Die Twice? Yeah, that game looked pretty good. It looked like a Soulsborne type game, mm. but you, with better movement. So yeah, they are, They're called Amiibos. Well, no, but the thing I'm talking about, they're not actually Amiibos. Like, if you look up, like, the Marvel, like, look up Marvel Infinity. Or Disney Infinity. Disney Infinity, because it includes Marvel now and yeah, Star Wars. But it's, it's not, uh, they're not actually Amiibos. They look like Amiibos, but they're not. Because you have, like, a separate, like, gamepad for them. For the Wii, right? Well, for, it's for all of them. For all systems. Yeah. Even though, I guess, Disney stopped their Infinity after 3.0. I think that was the last one. Yeah, yeah. But then they have, like, the Lego Dimensions or whatever. So that's, like, their, their new version of it. But, yeah, they're, they're pretty fun to play with. Uh... Other than that, I mean, there wasn't. I, I still had to catch up on Gamescom because I was doing, I'd like working stuff, but 
Did you guys watch see anything else that stood out to you guys? Uh, there was oh, Battlefield Five, of course. I mean, I, I'm already like kind of sold on it, but I'm still kind of curious about their battle royale mode. You're being engulfed in fire or being trapped by because like the map gets smaller with fire. Um, a lot of people are saying it's like weird or whatnot. They're not sure how it's gonna go. I won't be surprised if it's similar, more similar to. Uh, Left 4 Dead kind of where it's like co-op based and you just got to survive waves of enemies and they just call it Battle Royale I don't know mm. we'll see but it does it still looks interesting Battlefield 1 is still fun I'm just hoping they just improve on it with Battlefield 5 we will see because it'll be out fairly shortly next two three months I believe yeah. and then uh, there's one more that I can't. I mean, obviously, there's the new Forza's coming, but I don't play Forza. It still looks great. Oh, yeah, Devil, Devil May Cry. I guess they did the reveal that Dante is in the game. Uh, apparently, he, they have there's a trailer out now. You can see Dante into the game uh, very fashionably. So people are freaking out about Dante being replaced by this new character. It's not the case. So there, that was another one. I guess they showed some more Cyberpunk 2077, which I did not see, but I still want to see because the game sounds fucking crazy and interesting. Yeah, I want to see the gameplay. They need to stop hiding it behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. Dude, how come I... This is my first time hearing about GameCon, like, ever. Really? Like, how come they... I don't see... Like, I don't see, like, ads for it or, like... Big announcements for this. Well, I think it's usually like the industry, right? Yeah. But then again, so was E3, but E3 was held in fucking Vegas, so. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably the main reason why. Because I'm like, what the fuck is GameCon? I'm like looking up and like all this shit that's been happening. I'm like, fuck, what the hell? I've been down there, Rock? Gamescom with yeah. an M. With the M, so it's not. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Gamescom with. Games. Yeah. Games. So it should be interesting. Uh, I believe it's still going on through the rest of the week, so we'll see more reveals, more crazy stuff. Like I know there's a player unknown battlegrounds will be like a full launch, I guess, compared to the whatever mode they were doing, trial launch or whatever the fuck. Well there's a new game called like something in the storm or some shit that looks like another like battle royale thing. Oh. But yeah. look like with like crazy powers and shit like that. It's not like it's not like a basic, you know, first person shooter. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, it's kinda cool, like um there there's like a, a collector's edition of that Shikiro game, the one that we saw during E three. Where the guy with the he was like a samurai guy. It's the one with the leaves on the ground, like he's fighting like his like one of his friends and like as they're fighting the leaves and shit are like moving away, like yeah. making a path. But like the collector edition looks like it comes with some, some kind of like dope ass samurai map and a figurine of the main character and like three old school uh Chinese coins or I think they're like Shen Dynasty coins, it looks yeah. like. But no, dude, man, how come the fuck I never knew about this shit? Yeah, it's every year. Uh, another one, I guess, was the Smash Brothers Ultimate. They showed Dark Samus and who else they show? Krom. It was just a, it was a gameplay trailer, but I don't know if they actually showed actual gameplay, like actual people playing. But yes, we know Smash Brothers is huge, despite what Prodigy may say. Um, Saints Row the Third's coming to the Switch. I guess. Yeah, and yeah. so was uh, Diablo 3. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. I heard about that. Yeah. So we'll see how that works out. So the Switch is still, I mean, they're fulfilling promises. I mean, they seem to have third party on lock there. I mean, they keep releasing new content. And the one, the Diablo 3 for the Switch is kind of like a special edition because it has everything and more. You can, there's a skin for uh, Ganondorf. I was like, dude, that's, that's fucking dope. Awesome. Yeah, and it has uh, co-op and shit like that. And you can play offline. It's, I think it's the first one you can play totally offline. So, that's yo. There was a trailer for for um, Ace Combat Seven: Skies Unknown. Really? That was aired there. That. I can't watch it right now, but I'm fucking super. This comes. Uh, it says it comes out February 1st of 2019. I love the Ace Combat franchise. Right like I basically brought an Xbox 360 just because Ace Combat was only available on the Xbox. It's great. And then uh, there's a release date for Shin Mue 3. But it's Shin not out. Is it Shin, Shin Mue? Yeah, Shin Mue. Sure. In the east side. <laughs> sure. You never played any of them? No. Well, did not. Well, and well, I know, well. I guess there's a bundle now. Uh, people have been posting that they bought one and two. It's all uh, on the Xbox One. Um, I'm assuming it's already on the PS4 already. But you can get one and two on the Xbox One now. Uh, they come in as a single package. Uh, Shinmu 3 has a release date. It's not until 2019, though. So, there you go. All right. Games that came out today, sort of, or yesterday. 
Eh? This Mother, week. Motherfucking God of War, new game plus edition. Came oh out, shit, it came uh, out. Came out yesterday. Uh, I downloaded it. Oh I, shit. I need to find my disc for it. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just moved, so I don't know what the fuck it's at. <laughs> so I gotta find it to play it. Um, if y'all have played God of War, have, if you haven't played God of War and you have a PS4, what the fuck is wrong with you? Buy that game and play it. It's one of the best games of all time, my yes. opinion. And in many other Second people's animation. Yeah, opinions. Uh, new game plus mode is not just the, the normal game with like with your old shit. They put in extra content in the game. Um, you can skip over like uh, the scenes in the game. Cutscenes. Yeah, there's new weapons, new armor. Uh, the enemies change their attack patterns. Ooh. So yeah, it should be pretty dope to play it over again. I'm really looking forward to it. So thank you, uh, Santa Monica Studios, for adding on to this already fucking excellent game. I already told you it was, it was an 11 for me, and I think New Game Plus mode is going to put me on a fucking 12. So I'm going to go back through and replay it again. I still haven't finished that game. Are you serious? Yeah, I got stuck. I, I was playing really late, and I was getting my ass kicked, and I just finished one area, and it was really late. It was like 4 in the morning, and I stopped, and I just never went back. Like, I would say uh, God of War is probably like the first game I've completed like at the same time as everybody else in the Well, I think just me and Cronus are the first one, only ones that passed it. Yeah, yeah, and I applied to that shit. Yeah, I applied to uh, that shit too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, Prodigy probably. No, he hasn't finished it. He told me he finished it last week. I don't think he, so. Is he lying? You lying? Oh, no, I think he passed the story mode, but he hasn't yeah. oh, like yeah, done yeah. all the side yeah. quests. And stuff. Yeah, he passed the story mode for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. But that game, yeah, it's it's a perfect 10 for me, too. Like, it was so goddamn good. And it was so hard to put down. Like, I would be like, okay, yeah. I'm going to play this one little mission real quick. I'm going to pass this real quick. Another fucking great story mode. I was like, I got to keep playing, got to keep playing. But uh, the relationship between Kronos, or Kronos, Kratos, <laughs> Kratos and his kid <laughs> was fucking, like, it, this... This is what this should be a movie. Like it that's really how should. great it was. But it was like a movie. Yeah, yeah, it was just like basically, a movie. you know, <clears throat> a fucking like maybe what eighteen hour long movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. It was pretty involved. Yeah, <laughs> pretty pretty long. Especially with all the side quests. Yeah, the game was just. It was really fucking. It came out of nowhere because they basically took a game that uh, was a certain way and they changed everything about it. But for some reason, I still fucking loved it. Like they changed the whole combat system. They changed. The whole way the story's being told, but they kept the core, I guess, like sort of feeling of the game. Even though they took out, you know, fucking fuck chicken in, in the beginning, but it's all good. They took out fucking. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll let it slide. I understand you got a kid in the game, so they could have like did like a little, hey boy, let me show you how where kids come from. I mean, he's teaching all. He's teaching bad. He's teaching how to hunt, how to Ooh. fucking take down fucking gods so like that. I mean. He should learn how to, like, uh, you know, smash a little bit. Okay, Blue, so you're going to have a, a verbal warning from HR tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> right? Children watching their parents fuck is not good. No, no, I'm not saying the kid watching them fuck. I'm, like, teaching your kids about sex. Uh, <laughs> um, like, this is the birds and the smash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is where babies come from. That's crazy. I mean, he gave his kid a drink, and he was underage, so yeah, why can't he yeah. show his kids how to, you know, smash on some gods? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! That's. I mean, only female. Well, I guess the the Valkyries were females too. But I was gonna say the only female in the game was the witch chick. But now yeah, there was also Valkyries. Yeah. Yeah, but the Valkyries look grotesque and they try to kill you. They do try to kill you. They do try to kill you. <laughs> but then again, so the other chick after a while. So yeah. there's that. There you go. <laughs> spoiler alert. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. That spoiler alert from what last year? Jeez. Yeah. Or was it earlier this year? It was earlier this like, year. Yeah. yeah, it was like this. It's like fe January? February this year. Yeah. This year's been going on for a long time. Can it? Can it end? I'm just kidding. Don't. Don't end. Because I'm, I'm already. Damn there, man. We got four more months. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what are we going on to next? So since so we're talking about games, so I was there was an article. I was trying to find the article. But there are parents out there that are paying for their kids to be coached and playing Fortnite. Oh, yeah. yeah, heard about that. Why I don't understand. Well, like, uh, so the reason I brought it up is because, okay, so parents pay for their kids to learn how to play, like, sports. Like, is that kind of the, in the same realm in, in this day and age? Yeah, I mean, this, you know, times are changing. So if you want to get good at anything, you should probably have some kind of mentor. If you're not good, like, if you don't have an innate skill at it already, you should find some kind of coach. Yeah, because the interesting thing about it is that, like, kids nowadays, like, you know, back when you, like, when playing football was, like, kind of the thing to do. 
I'm not saying I'm a big sports person, but uh, <laughs> really, tell us more. <laughs> no, I mean I play I play like pew football and stuff like that as a kid. I just sports wasn't my thing. But like for video games, like the way like Fortnite's a huge fucking game, and if your kid isn't playing it, then I'm pretty sure like that's their new thing of being made fun of. It's like, oh, what you don't know how to floss? Like, are you not playing Fortnite? Like, kids are probably being picked on about not being able to play fucking Fortnite. Well, I mean, I, in my mind, I think that's how it's going. Well, it's kind of like sports too, right? Like if you didn't know, like if kids play football, and you don't know how to play football, like the basis of it. Mm-hmm. You get made fun of too. It's the same thing with baseball or soccer. Like you get made fun of for that shit. If you're in the, you know, a certain crowd, but if you're, you know, if you're a nerd, who gives a shit? Yeah. That's hilarious. But then, like, also, like, gaming's a like, huge industry. Like, there, it's a multi million dollar industry to be in. And, like, it's, a lot of the stuff, too, is teaching kids, like, how to, like, program and, like, game developing. Because there's a college that they've they've removed a lot of their curriculum to make room for, like, game designing and, like, all this other, like, programming and coding. Like, that's kind of, like, their main, not their main focus, but they, they introduce these, introduce these courses into their curriculum. 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 Yeah, so when my daughter went, my oldest daughter, obviously, but when she went to the Academy of Arts University, they had a whole, like, course layout for uh, gaming, like, how to program games, how to code, uh, how to make levels and shit like that, so I think that's that pretty cool. Yeah, because yeah, we're weird. definitely in that age where, you know, you kind of got to know shit like that. But yeah. it, I think it's funny because, like, I have a friend, he went to school to become a gamer, a game designer, and like, he thought it was going to be all this fun, like, gaming type shit, but he's nope. like, he works fucking crazy as ours, developing games and stuff like that, especially with, like, the new consoles, like, all the power they have behind it. Like, a lot of work goes into making a fucking video game. Yes, it does. So, a lot of props for a lot of those companies that do that shit. Even, like, small, like, even indie games require, like, a lot of work to get a lot of stuff done. Like, even, like, the basic, like, like for example, like, what is it, uh, Guacamole or whatever it's called? Mm-hmm. Like, that game probably took forever for them. Like, it's been, what, like, two, like two, two years, years since yeah. the last one came out? Yeah, Guacamole 2 just came out uh, yesterday as well. It's yeah. Fun. Yeah. I downloaded I it. I haven't played fun. it yet. Yeah. Yeah. But it seems like a simple game because it's just a little side-scroller and, like, the graphics aren't that great. I mean, they're not high-end, like, realistic graphics, but it's still a fucking fun-ass game to play. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's a lot. You should watch, uh, there's a documentary called Indie Gamer. Mm-hmm. It's about uh, developers making, you know, obviously indie game, but they feature like a couple games, like uh, Braid, uh, Fez. Oh, that game is so much fun. And then Super Meat Boy. Wow, that game so awesome they too. talk about yeah. they interview the guys. Like Super Meat Boy is made by two people. Fez is made by two people. Um, Braid was made by one person, and they cover a couple other like indie games. Um, I think they talk about like the people's experience. Like the guy who made Braid, he used to be he used to work for uh, Electronic Arts, and then the guys who did Super Meat Boy, they had they I think were in the industry, but like they made that out in Santa Cruz. They were spending all their like as much time as possible trying to crank out this game, and they were working on like eight nine hours a day trying to get this game going. So yeah, like. A huge problem for anybody who develops games. Like even if it's like a mobile game, because like when I work for a, I work for one company, they make mobile app, and like every phone is fucking different, and your app's not gonna always work on every single phone. So you basically release the phone, you release the app, people complain about it, and you go back and look at that phone to see like exactly what you can tweak about that app to make it work on that phone. And even though it, it work on that phone, it might break on working on a different phone. So. Yeah, that shit's fucking ridiculous. The whole cell phone gaming world is like it's it's fucked up. It's crazy. I mean, usually it goes by pl- by OS. Nope, and, it's by and, phones, man. Yeah, some do, but generally, nope. like you want to make an Android phone versus an iOS phone. It, it, just because then, you make it for the OS, I know, doesn't mean it, it's gonna actually some, work on every some phone. Some of them have stuff that will break the game, so you have to release patches so they run on a particular uh, phone because their architecture may be a little different. So drastically different, especially when you have like a uh, if you compare a high end Android phone to a low end Android phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna talk about my crazy last weekend. So, oh, shit. Last weekend, starting on Friday, I, I turned 39 on last Friday. So. Hey, where's this soundboard? Oh, 30 more years to 69. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I started out my day. I, I did a. So I do 
for every year, or actually every year that I went around the sun, I'll do jujitsu for that many minutes. So this year I, did, I was going to roll, like basically spar, if you're not familiar with jujitsu, for 39 minutes. But I ended up doing it for like 45 minutes, and I was fucking dead at the end. So, but this year I got some submissions, so that that was good. And then later on that day, what did I do? Uh, I went out to Drake's. Uh, nobody on the podcast came out. Thanks very much, guys. You're welcome. Fucking awesome. Um, I know y'all should do those. So. I mean, you were born alone, so might yeah. as well. Damn. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> might as well die alone too. Yeah. Shit. Well, I'm gonna die alone. I'm just saying. No, but then uh, then Saturday came up, and what the fuck did we do on Saturday? High school reunion. Cake yeah. man. High, and no, that was Sunday. No, Sunday. Was that Sunday? Yeah. Oh shit. So Saturday was a high school reunion, and that was kind of crazy. Cronus was. Fucked up! Yeah, yeah, I got <laughs> fucked up. Damn. I mean, I didn't get, like, belligerent drunk, because uh, that's not the way I roll, but yeah, they were, I was pretty fucked up. You're coherent, because I showed up a little bit late to the party, but yeah, you were... Yeah. You 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 can still speak English. Yeah, but I was I was definitely missing time from the yeah. night. So, but it was still a lot of fun. It was cool to see. Uh, first of all, it was cool for me and came back to have like a, a night out with just you know her and me. We stayed in the hotel where the actual reunion was being held. Brown chicken, wow, wow. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But it was uh, it was a lot of fun to see our old classmates. It was funny because we graduated in '98, and. There was 98 people that went to our union. <laughs> like, oh, was it really? Yeah, yeah. That's fucking great. So, I'm glad I didn't show up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was uh, actually somebody else showed up from uh, your class. I forget his name. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It's big dude. Really big. Like tall oh, and big. The, the tall black guy? Yeah. I, I saw him there. Yeah. I was yeah. like, what is this dude doing here? It's big dude. Oh, yeah. He's cool, though. Yeah. But yeah, so. Like Anthony, I think his name is? Something like that. Something, I don't know. But yeah, had a lot of fun. It was it was cool to like see the, the differences between like the popular kids and like I guess the not popular kids because now nobody really I, I never cared to begin with but it's cool to see like everybody kind of getting along with everybody yeah you know? um, it's also kind of sad to see people get fucked up which I get into in a minute because some people got a little too fucked up um, but it's it's always funny like I know when Kronos is drunk because like I, I never hug this dude but when he's drunk he's always down like give me a hug he's like, blue you're my boy like give me a hug I'm like oh shit what's up dude like are you okay like how much Okay. How, how, how drunk are you? I got a little touchy feely. Yeah. In a, in a consensual way. Yeah. yeah. Right, so I'm not going to touch somebody that doesn't want to be fucking touched. No. So. It's just a quick hug and that's it and back to fucking fuck you, dude. You need yeah. to come roll with you us. Know, you know if I'm going to grab your ass? Or no? No, no, man. All right, no, cool, no. cool. I was stealth about it. I ain't down with that. Um, oh, God. I fucking name slipped my mind. Uh, sh- the guy that was touching boys. Not Michael Jackson, but um, the guy Spacey? from Kevin, Kevin Spacey. Spacey. Yeah. yeah, I'm not down with that Kevin Spacey shit. Yeah, it's fucked up. But, uh, yeah, it w- was funny for, like, you know, me and K-Mac, you know, we, we went there and uh, we adopted, and I didn't know that people were, like, really pay attention to that, and so, like, there were so many people that we never really talked to in, in high school that were walking up to us, like, oh, yeah, you know, we've been following you on Facebook and stuff like that, and I was like, oh, that's pretty fucking cool, like, that you guys pay attention to our lives and stuff like that, like, I thought that was, like, it was, like, a re- almost like a reversal from when, like, we were in high school, because we weren't that well known in high school and it's just it's cool to see that that now and to see people that people that freely admitted they were assholes in in uh in high school for like various reasons you know so i I think it's uh it's cool to see people that are older that can like reconcile with themselves at that point in their lives but on the flip side (laughs) there are people there that were there that caught that are still dealing with like issues mm-hmm. and had like too much to drink and you know their lives are kind of a mess and just watching fucking train wrecks happen kind of left and right it was uh that was kind of bad but it wasn't that wasn't too many people it was like that was definitely on the super minority that you saw people that were just like way too fucked up and mm-hmm. you know some people just don't get out enough you know <laughs> but it's all good cause, so yeah we already get out too much <laughs> yeah so it's like yo we're almost 40 you gotta like have you have responsibilities now? Yeah. Or you, you should. Like, you should know your limit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we went from, like, the actual reunion place to, like, the after party was at a, a local bar. It's called O'Sullivan's or whatever. And oh, it used to be called. Yeah. Uh, what was it used to be it was called? Something else. I forget the name of it. But it's, like, way better now. I just don't hang out there. Yeah. Because cool. I don't hang out in my hometown. <laughs> oh, it used to be called Whiskey Town. That's right. Yeah. 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 But it was cool going to the uh, the, after, the after party there and, and talking to more people, and I got even more fucked up. And and then afterwards, I guess I guess we hang out. We hang out in a I don't have a nickname for it, but our friends' room. Oh, you guys went to uh, black black dresses room or no no to oh I don't get what I know what you're talking about, but I can't give her a name. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to give her a nick. Well, I can't give her a nickname on the podcast. So, but yeah, it was cool like hang out and with, with them and because she had like a. 
a photo book from like high school oh, and damn, stuff. Damn, I should have went, dude. Oh, you didn't? No, I didn't go. Oh, like, y'all guys were like, yeah, we're going back to the room. I was like, oh, they're fucking drunk. They're going to go back to the room and pass out. No, no, we were up for a while. Damn even, it, even she though, came out. Even though she, she puked in the bathroom. Oh, she did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was fucked up. But dude, she was fucked up in the car. Like, she was oh, like yeah. laying out and I'm like, are you okay? Yeah. She held it together to, to the room. And then even afterwards, she was she's fucking fine. What name can I could we give her? Wait, you're not talking about Lilo, right? Sounds like Lilo. No, no, no. no. Lilo, wasn't Lilo. Lilo wasn't there. Yeah. Not a Lilo. Even though Lilo would be like a play on her name. It would be. Yeah. But yeah, uh, it was it was super fun uh, to to go to all, through all that, you know, again and then. Dude. Hopefully you doesn't listen to the podcast, but uh, her friend, the one that drove the Prius. Yeah. Didn't she look like a fucking like a mom? Well, yeah. With like her cut bob cut hair and like, <laughs> dude, she looked like somebody's mom from like the eighties. But she's cool as fuck though. Yeah, she's hella cool. Like, like I remember driving her cars when we were like sixteen and shit like that. Yeah, she had a bug, right? Yeah. But you know what's bug. funny is that um, like the next day because she wasn't really drinking that night, mm-hmm. that's why she drove us home or to the hotel. And then afterwards, I was like, isn't it weird? Because like we were talking, and I was like, isn't it weird that you basically live in a different reality last night because. I can't remember hardly. Like, <laughs> there's like pieces that are missing of the night, but you remember everything. Yeah. And I was like, so like our reality is like just totally different. That's fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that shit was that shit was weird. That's like my wedding night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's reality. There's like shit I don't even know. But yeah. Anyways. Yeah. You're like different universe. And then, yeah. Then the next day, this is when we all meet up. I bring it back together with the whole podcast. Uh, in the morning, I went to uh, a small con called the uh, shit. Can yo can you be con? Which is like the smallest convention I've ever been to, but it was cool. Um, but I was kind of pissed because there was a, uh, a band there called the Shogunate that I wanted to see, but they uh, they were having technical issues, and so oh, I had to, like right when they were going to start playing, I had to leave to go to uh, uh, Kickman's wedding. So I will have to look them up and see because I wanted to see if I could get them, if they were good. I was going to have them on the podcast. This was like a free event, right? Uh, no, we had to pay for it, but it was like super cheap. Oh, like $45 like, or something like that. I think it was like 15 bucks. No, that's not bad. And it came with like uh, at lunchtime there was free food and shit. Oh shit, that's what's yeah, up. Yeah, so it was, it was it was super cool. Um, but then I went to uh, Cake Man's wedding, which was which was great. So that's when I met up with you guys, which was a lot of fucking fun. Yeah. I had a good time at his wedding. It was so it's it was what. Uh, Cake Man got married to what, what name can we give her? I mean, Mrs. Cake Man, I guess. Oh, Cake Woman. Or, oh, I was gonna say Night Nurse, but no, no, because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, she is a nurse. But, but it, it does kind of look like Luke Cage, so yeah, right, oh, exactly. Yeah, so she's gonna call nurse. her Claire. Yeah. All right, we call her Night Nurse Claire. <laughs> but um, yeah, they got married. They they've been um, they've been together for a while. And they were supposed to get married last year, but they were blessed with having twins, so their wedding was pushed back. But uh, it was a really, really nice ceremony. Like we uh, was at Winty's Winery Vineyard. It was Vineyard. Great. Yeah. yeah. Even though it was hot, it was still cool. Yeah, it was hot. <laughs> I wasn't even that hot, but Cake Man was. I thought he was gonna fucking die. Dude, yeah, we too. all we all did. We I was waiting was for the tumble. Out. Yeah. So he was like, as they were doing like the uh, the ceremony, he was sweating like a lot, a lot. Yeah. Like he was underneath like a hot lamp. I was uh-huh. like, oh, I felt so bad. But his mom was there like taking care of her, her baby. little baby, yeah, yeah. Like, patting his head off and stuff like that. Fanning him. Yeah, fanning him. It was that shit was great. I had the fan uh, blue. Blue got all he got teary eyed a little bit. Dude, I did like that that great. story with the whole violin. That should have you, man. Yeah, I was like, he's all like, <laughs> his eyes literally were red. He's all, man, I'm tearing up. I'm all waving it, it like I'm all waving his eyes. I'm all here you go. That's, I'm what, all, that's what ladies do to get the so they don't run the mascara. Yeah, yeah that, that's what I did. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. That, well, I did that on my wedding day when I saw my wife for the first time in her dress. Like, oh. yeah, I remember that. That was hit, hit me in the feels, man. Dude, like I seriously was not expecting to cry, and I fucking cried. I was like, holy shit. Come on, Danny, get this shit together. <laughs> but I was, um, <laughs> who? Who? Who did it? Yeah. Who the hell was that? Fucking, like, they ain't know my name. And, <laughs> um, but uh, the uh, when uh, the night nurse came like through the door and stuff like that, like that shit was like, no. When so, Cake Man came down the aisle and he had his twins in the fucking wagon. Yeah, he pulled and them that shit. Like a, that shit was fucking adorable. It was a decorated like radio flyer or whatnot. Yeah, and he had them pulled in. Like every girl that was there, like melted. They oh, all. Yeah. All melted. I was like, oh, uh, it was pretty cool because he just wheeled in his two boys and they were cool. They they weren't fussy. They're were sitting there, you know, bobbing and then drooling on each other. So mm-hmm. it was pretty great. And then uh, and then we see the bride come in and it was great. But what one crazy thing, like 
I'm a happily married man. I'm gonna say that now. <laughs> you got a preface. Damn. Oh man. <laughs> Tim was some fine ass girls there, man. It was. Yeah, damn. It was. I'm night, just saying. The night nurse uh, travels in good flocks. She I can does. <laughs> You'd be sleeping out here in the fucking <laughs> temporary base. Yeah, you'd be sleeping out <laughs> No, uh, that's, that's not how that works. Are we the other way around? I go, yeah, well, you, she cannot physically kick me out of bed, so. That's true, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Every guy that does that goes in the doghouse. You accepted it yourself. You put yourself there. Because hmm. there's no way that someone's going to kick me out of my own fucking bed. Or out of our bed, which is partially my bed. Yeah. So, yeah, you, Wait. you just sleep there angry. Well, it's kind of funny because, like, I think the night. Was it the. The night after the wedding, the sweetest, the sweetest and I went. No, this is after the high school reunion. Like I went home and I was a little bit on the gassy side. Oh yeah. <laughs> and man, my my forts were dangerous. <laughs> and it's funny because I have the bed jet, and the bed jet is this, this fan. <laughs> <laughs> no, so <laughs> the bed jet is this fan that goes underneath your cover, and it blows cool air or what. You can blow warm air on yourself too, but it blows air on you, so you stay at a certain temperature. Well, you can't really hot. You can't Dutch oven the fucking covers because it just blows it out. So like, I don't know. I just kept ripping them, and I was like, and they just kept coming from underneath the cover. And the sweetness was like, oh, she fucking actually hit me. She's like, oh, why don't you stop it? And I eventually I just like, you know, I'm just gonna leave the bed, go into the other room, and go sleep in there. And I was man, I was blowing it up in there. So this podcast will be called Convection Dutch Ovens. <laughs> 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 yeah, because you also got a new oven too, huh? A convection oven. Uh, you know that no, is? I was. Just, I know what a Dutch oven is. That's what's all bad. You don't know what a convection oven is? No. You should know. You work in the uh, in that industry. Well, yeah, but it's I like basically it's an oven with a fan. That's what my. my oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I didn't. I didn't know the actual term. Yeah, Everyone just good. refers to it as an oven. But yeah, the wedding was really great. They had an open bar, which is always what should happen at a wedding, unless you can't afford to pay for it. Because our wedding, our for our wedding, the the bill for the drinks was more than the actual food. But yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. It's yeah. either either have an open bar or a cash bar. Don't have no bar. All right, that's, that's oh, fucking yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Like if you're well, unless you're underage, I guess. Yeah. A recovering alcoholic. Oh, I understand. yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, but still, it's not about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, you know what's funny? I I, I made a uh, Kemek laugh out loud during the ceremony. Oh, not the ceremony, but like during the event because. You know when they were doing like the, the throw the oh, bouquet, bouquet thing? They did that? Yeah, yeah. I was like, I whispered in her ear. I was like, hey, Mac, uh, if you catch that bouquet, we'll get married. Oh, <laughs> and she didn't know if I was serious or not. <laughs> did she go up to go get it? The world by never. Yeah, she, went, she tried to go get it. but it's awesome. yeah. Did you look her dead in the eye when you said it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she if I was serious in the world, never know. Oh, oh, damn. You need to go to another wedding then. Just see what happens. Dude, so for the high school reunion, when I got there, I was drunk as fuck already. Wait, you showed up to the event drunk? Yeah, well, I went to the after party. Because I went to the 10-year one, ten year one, I went to the after party. Because I know a lot of people from that, that class. But, uh, yeah, dude, I was... People were asking where you were. But yeah, which is funny. like, <laughs> <laughs> And it was funny because, like, this one chick... Like, we were talking about this before the podcast, but this chick came out of nowhere. and started talking about how her and her man been together since they were sophomores. And I was like, I don't even know you, chick. But she was like, yeah, we've been together since sophomore. And we got married when we were this age. And we've been married for 14 years. And we fuck all the time. Like, why are you telling me this? I mean, you're hot as fuck. But then again, <laughs> like, why are you telling me this? She was dressed a little too uh, fucking risque. I was like, oh, yeah, dude. what are you wearing? I was she like, wants attention. Fuck? Come talk I think to she... me. Come say hi to me. Like, I, I would say she was trying to be that stereotypical person who's like, you know what? I still have a fucking banging body. I'm going to show it off. I mean, that'd be like me wearing like a crop top or something. I don't know. It's just, it was just weird to me. Yeah. That somebody wears something like that. So she's basically wearing like a crop top and like extra fucking tight fucking like silk pants. Mm. And I was just like, what the fuck? But she was fine, though. Mm. She was. And I was just like, what is wrong with you? Like, it sounds like the thirst is real. Like, nobody that's like confident with themselves. Well, I guess. But it's just like, it's weird to wear that to reunion. Well, like the way she was talking to me about like how her her and her man have sex made me think that she was looking for a little caco going or some shit to so, spice it up. <laughs> so you did you inspect to see if she's wearing any? Well, she was pink. Latin, so she can't be a queen of spades. <laughs> That's not necessarily it's, true. It's a. But she. I mean, did you check to see if she's wearing any Kate Spade jewelry? <laughs> mm, I'm just saying. Maybe. Maybe. Mm, you don't look good enough. I'm just saying she could be out there hunting for BBC. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> 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 
All good. All, all right, good. what right. do we got? We got, some, we got She some... also bought like a bunch of tacos and shit from Taco Bell. Oh, shit, she so did. So cool. she's cool as fuck. Yeah. So that's cool. hilarious. Yeah. So she's cool as fuck because she brought Taco Bell. She did because I ate some because I was like, uh, I didn't eat that much that day. Right. And that's probably why I got pretty fucked up. It's awesome. But not belligerent, so it was fine. Uh, yeah. yeah I, I had a taco and like a fucking burrito at like fucking 1 30 in the morning yeah. i never eat that fucking late yeah but i had to so we, when we were talking about disney infinity uh there was the three the big three someone brought it up in the chat because i couldn't think of the name we talked about amiibo and then disney infinity the other one was skylanders oh yeah that's the third one so yeah, thank Skylander. you to person in the chat i didn't see your name i just saw the name so there you go uh would there's some a few topics we got on here. What do we want to jump to next? Well, actually, let me uh, segue to something real quick. Uh, oh. This next portion of the podcast is going to be brought to you by Loot Crate. Loot Crate is basically Comic Con in a box. They give to you a it's a monthly subscription service where you get uh, like a really cool t shirt in a box, uh, some cool like little figurines or whatever, like. Um, like pop vinyls and stuff and like some extra other kind of stuff that's nerdy it's always nerdy stuff which is really cool normally uh our studio i would point to what what was in there oh here we go got the ice king ice king he was in there so we see this figurine that was in the box along with some other stuff and they're usually themed boxes which is great they also uh the that's for the base service the uh they have different tiers of services and also themed crates that are really cool if you're on a budget, they have what's called loot wear, which is where they send to you just a t-shirt and some other kind of wearable, like gloves or socks or something like that. And they also have uh, Loot Crate DX, which is their higher tier service, which gives to you more items and higher quality items. Uh, anybody that's uh, subscrib- subscribing to Loot Crate gets put into a drawing for the Mega Crate. And the Mega Crate is like big box items like TVs, consoles, stuff like that. So it's pretty dope. Every month they give away stuff like that. And their theme crates have to do with like, uh, they have a Halo crate. They have a God of War crate that just came out. Uh, Fallout, they have ones for like TV and uh, like for Marvel, WWE scenario. It's uh, and Firefly. It's it's a pretty great service we get for a while. And they also have loot pets. So if you have a pet, uh, you can get like... Uh, doggy treats and like stuff to wear for your your pet and, and stuff like that. So it's pretty dope. So if you go to trylootcrate.com forward slash bvan bti with the promo code of bridge ten as in a bridge you're walking over and the number ten one zero, uh, you will save yourself ten percent on any new subscription. Once again, that is trylootcrate.com forward slash bvan bti with the promo code of bridge 10 as in a bridge you're walking over and the number 10 one zero to save yourself 10 percent on any new subscription and now on with the show so <clears throat> let's well, i was gonna to... i was gonna jump into i mean i mentioned kevin spacey earlier i'm not sure if we talked about this yet but he had a movie that came out recently called the billionaire uh billionaire boys club isn't that isn't that owned by pharrell I don't know, but the movie didn't do very well. It's owned by him, then he got fucked. Fucking all. So, um, this movie only made $618. Yeah. (laughs) Opening fucking weekend. I heard it only made $126. Well, that's opening day. Oh, that was opening day? That was opening day. Like, that's how bad this movie did, but... It sounds like Kevin Spacey and his friends watched it. (laughs) Basically, like, Damn. Like, it opened up so opening day, I think it owed up to eight theaters, but opening weekend it was 12 theaters, and that was it. But damn, that's 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 not even like I, I can't even think of anything that that's been released that's only made that much. Like, I've watched really bad movies that have made millions, yeah, so, yeah, not even. That didn't even make thousands? Like, what, what no, the fuck? No. Like, it's funny. Like, when you read, when you read the headlines, it says t- 618, and that's it. I was like, where's the K? There's no M on the back of that? Yeah. No, that's just $618. Yeah, $618,000 is not, is like, to me, that's like a total flop. A fucking $618, I don't think that's a different category. It's not even a, you might as well not even made a movie. Yeah, right. Well, because this movie was was made before that whole scandal with him and touching little boys and shit yeah. came out. So the movie already was filmed and like edited and everything. It's just that once all this stuff happened, it was kind of put on hold. But they decided to release it anyway. You can't even buy a decent cell phone for six hundred eighteen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't. Like what the fuck? God dang. 
Damn, it's but just, all about. I didn't even know he had a movie coming out. I saw no advertisements, nothing. So this movie, the budget for this movie was fifteen million dollars. Yeah, they ain't getting that shit back. No, not no. even close. But it looks like it's it, it's came up since opening weekend. But they're yeah, no, they're not they're not making their fucking money back. They'll be lucky to make a million at this rate. But yeah, dude. So fuck that shit. Yeah, that's uh, all bad. That's awful. All right. Wait, so Sounds like someone's career might internationally, be the film has made one point four million internationally. Wow. But that's that's it. Oh, yeah, that's not a lot. No, that's uh, not a lot at all. That did, that doesn't even cover. That's like maybe the cost of like one actor. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, maybe the buffet bar or whatever. I'm it's called. Say that's the cost of food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Craft, craft services. That's the cost. Yeah. yeah. So that's all kinds of bad. This is what happens when you come out there and try to solicit underage boys. Uh, right now, it's sitting at ten percent on Rotten Tomatoes. God, damn. Well, that, that that hurts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, should, what's we, what about? should we move on to Voltron? Because I believe everyone. Did finished? we all finish it? I have not I, finished it, but. What the finished. fuck? Dude, I've been busy this weekend. Uh, <laughs> it's been a long fucking weekend. Uh, Kronos was busy too, and he still finished. I still finished it. Damn, okay. We'll talk, we can talk about it talk next, about next week. week yeah. yeah, I can't. The end is fucking crazy. It as was fun. crazy. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. There's, okay. There's, I'm going to watch it this week. What oh, is there's shit. like Because it's a 13 episode season. Well, the last two episodes are fucking crazy. But it's not just that. I think it's the last four to six episodes. It's the, the Earth arc. It's 13 episodes, well, right? Yeah, the Earth arc. The Earth arc right? is yeah. several which, episodes which, long. But you know what I'm talking about. With oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was fucking crazy. I was like, whoa. It just, it just, because the, the series, the season goes kind of like octane, like super octane a little bit, and then they slow it down by doing a flashback, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. They slow it down, and they build you back up for this crazy climactic battle, and then when you think it ends, more craziness shows up, and so a whole yeah. new episode is literally a whole fight scene with surprises and revelations and shit. Dude, I'm not even It's su- fucking crazy. I'm not even surprised because, like, all the last few seasons has been fucking like as short as they were they've been amazing especially like last not last season was great but especially with the arc with um shiro versus um oh that one guy uh keith, keith. not yeah keith how they're fighting and um that whole scene where they're like on that doom planet that's like blowing up that was like yeah. some straight out of fucking anime fight scenes but it was so was, good but this last up ep- like the last episode i think it's like the last two it puts it in like samurai jack territory for me oh yeah like, it, it, it goes it yeah. goes super saiyan like super would crazy. this be up there for an eggplant award oh like, yeah for it's, it's, oh, season? Yeah. it's nominated every year i'm pretty sure it's gonna win this year oh uh, i mean it's damn good i can't think of a better animated show that's come out this year even attack on titan uh, well that's anime but i guess that's animated but attack on titan's not done yet true so i guess we'll see I mean, attack on titan's good but voltron, voltron, voltron had me since season one Season one was a little, the first couple episodes was a little rocky, but I stayed with it. And it just got better and better. And each season to me has been even more surprised because they pay homage to the original, but they developed their own story, their own way, and then added some new stuff, especially in this current season. So, I mean, it it, it has some feels where it feels like there's some maybe vehicle f- vehicle team Voltron maybe. Nice. So blue, I'm so glad you asked him about that vehicle Voltron shit. Dude, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to say Negro Damas, but <laughs> no, because a lot of times when we do interviews, I always ask like people questions. They're like, we can't talk about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've run actually a lot of our celebrity stuff. We run into stuff like that where yeah. they can't talk about, you know, what's going on. But, but um, yeah, dude, I'm I gotta okay. I'm gonna because I'm only like episode three, oh, and man. I had to stop watching it just because I've been fucking busy at work, so I haven't had a chance to really, like, really watch it, but yeah. yeah, I'm gonna try to catch you up by next week, because I've been watching, I'm, I'm damn near caught up on My Hero Academia, okay. like, I'm at the, I'm at the part where they're, they're going against uh, other schools now, oh, yeah, yeah, so they just barely started that, that arc, which oh, is fucking, like, so fucking dope so far, well, I'm caught up, so, yeah, so, those of you who are listening, and are watching, do yourself a favor. If you have a Netflix account, watch Voltron Legendary Defender. So I think Voltron 84 is still on there. But you want to watch Legendary Defender, the Netflix exclusive, check it out. Um, and also, if you're caught up with the series, like say you just started watching the first episode of, the season, of this new season, 
after you watch the first episode of this season, go back and watch episode one, like the very first episode, because there's a scene in there that's basically a, a, a throwback. Like it matches scene for scene for an episode that happens early. It's a, it's a scene where Keith, he um, is riding the like an air car or something like that. He's like running from authorities, and you can watch. You, it, you have to watch it. It's fucking crazy. Like it's literally a cut by cut scene of that. Of, it's you have to see it to understand what I'm talking about. So there's another new Netflix, a new Netflix show that just came out <clears throat> by Matt Groening, the uh, creator of Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, The Simpsons. Oh yeah, yeah. And so I watched the first episode uh, the other day, and I'm impressed so far because the main reason why is because it, there's a, like a lot of homages to The Princess Bride, oh, like mm. a fucking lot. <laughs> so I was like pretty amazed. It's about like this this princess that doesn't want to. Uh, be a princess. She doesn't want to get married in an arranged marriage, and it's also about like this demon that attaches himself to her, and then about like this. I think he's a fairy or some shit like that mm-hmm. that doesn't want to be in like his fairyland anymore. And it's pretty. It's it's funny. Like there's some parts are, like legit laugh out loud parts, um, and it's pretty good. It's it's weird to see like his artwork. His obvious like artwork style, style yeah. set to like a different background style, so it's uh, it's pretty interesting. I'm only at episode one, but so far it's been uh, it's been entertaining. Like I know when we were at uh, same deal Comic Con, that was kind of like posted up everywhere. Yeah. Like um, I think they had like a building that they took over, and they were showing like clips and stuff of that um, inside the building. But yeah, it was, it was good so far. So I'm definitely gonna watch the rest of the, the series. Wait, is it on Netflix or Amazon? Oh, it's on Netflix. on Netflix. Netflix. Okay. Netflix exclusive. Okay. Cause Kind of Amazon and Netflix are kind of blended on my Fire Stick, so it's hard to tell which one's which. So, y'all see this news about Netflix where they're going to start introducing ads to their original shows? Yeah, so I have a problem with that because I'm paying for the service. I do not want to see fucking commercials. And they make fucking tons of money already. Yeah. What the fuck? Well, they're actually in the hole. So, are they really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're they're spending so much money on making new content that they're going to be in the hole. So they're, they're being in the hole is not a huge deal. But I don't want to see commercials for anything mm. on Netflix. Cause I'm paying for it. Don't don't pull a fucking Hulu. Yeah, Hulu. Yeah, because you mm. ooh, you pay for one version where there's no commercials versus. So even the ones that you pay for with no commercials, if they don't have the rights to a particular show, because I watch Agents of Shield on Hulu, they have a commercial at the beginning and the end of the show, and they warn you, saying due to streaming rights, they don't. They have to show these commercials because of ABC and them and their whatever. So I'm just like, seriously? Really? Yeah, but damn. But I mean, this is all their original. I mean, a lot of their original content we watch and we we give our commentary on, like, you know, uh, Santa Clarita Diet. The We're all probably going to be watching season two of Altered Carbon, which we didn't talk about so far about Anthony Mackey being the new lead. Um, mm. Yeah, he's the new lead, which we we talked about this before. They can literally put anyone in the lead and still have it be the main character. Just he just looks like someone else. Just a new, uh, just new, skin. a new sleeve. Sleeve, that's what. Yeah, it was, he's yeah. in a new sleeve, but he's still the same character. Every time they call it a sleeve, I just think of fucking a flashlight. Flashlight. Oh, uh, that's gross. Cause that's that's what they're fucking called. <laughs> I guess so. they call them sleeve. They call flashlight sleeve. I think they call sleeves. They're sleeves. Blue. Sure. That's. That's oh damn! You know what? You know what? I don't even know what. Damn, that's, Tony Bill. I just call them flashlights. I didn't know they call them sleeves. Now, now I look like flashlights in a whole new light. That's just crazy. But yeah, like Netflix, they're all all the original con. Well, oh, majority of the original con is really fucking good. But there's like shows that they should have canceled that they canceled. Like um, such as oh, you talking about Sense Eight? No, no, I didn't. I actually never watched that show. But um, the animated one, the one about coming of age. Big Mouth. Big Mouth. Yeah, that, that show so is good. so fucking good. I'll, but also the one back, with though, the kids. Right? No, the one with the kids. Oh, everything sucks. Yeah, that yeah, shit was really that fucking one. good. I was about that. Oh, I heard they canceled the Get Down. Oh, I didn't watch that. I, I heard that was a really either. good show. It was about uh, rap in the 80s coming up and whatnot. I think I, I saw it, but like I never got a chance to watch it. But like, I don't, like six, eight. I only watched the first episode, and I just remember the rainbow dildo and just it's flopping on the yeah. floor after it's been used. That shit was all slimy. <laughs> Gross. We that's, nasty on this podcast. Hey man, it's, hey, that's a potential title right there. We nasty. Yes. Uh, what else do we? 
moving on from, I guess, Netflix. I guess uh, we should talk about the big news. What big news? Big news that's been in the news the last couple... Actually, there's been two big news. We talk about one of them. Especially the one that'll fire up Prodigy, even though he's not here. Is, uh... Azar Argento. Yeah. Yeah, that's... That's so, pretty big news. Azar Argento, who's a actress, a director... Uh, the former girlfriend of the late Anthony Bourdain and the daughter of famed director and uh, horror extraordinaire uh, Dario Argento. She had an accuser come out. Wait, the hot chick that was dating Anthony, Anthony Bourdain? Bourdain? Yes. Yeah. And she, you can see her in Triple X and the older movies. There is <laughs> apparent evidence showing that she had sex with a 17-year-old when she was 37. Sexually assaulted him, according to him. So, And she paid him money to keep it quiet. And she refuted with a letter, I believe, yesterday or the day before. But apparently, recently, there's been texts that have been surfaced that shows that she had sexual conduct with this boy. Though she claimed that she did not. There's also a photo of those two together oh, yeah, in it's, bed. It's right fucking there. Yeah. Yeah. So she, she and they starred in a movie together where he plays her son. And I guess during that film she uh, had sex with him. Apparently, it, what, it, I read one of the description. Apparently, she, you know, told him about you know, she doesn't she propositions him kind of. And she basically throws him on the bed and sucks him off and then gets him hard enough to where she can just plop down right on him. Damn, this is fucking... Like, man, this is... Mm-hmm. Well, because everything that happened with, like, Anthony Bourdain, because he committed suicide, right? Yes. And it said that... Well, TMD is saying that she settled with him for, with $380 million. Thousand dollars. To keep him quiet... You said million, thousand. I said thousand. No, no, I. Oh, I only said, said million. million. Oh yeah, yeah three hundred eighty thousand. That's Sorry. a lot of fucking money. <laughs> Still, three hundred eighty thousand. That's and a lot. And it said Anthony Bourdain paid it. Oh shit! And she's one of the main people that started the Me Too movement. Ah uh, yes. Which is a well, she problem. she came out with the story about how Harvey Weinstein. Um, I don't know, assaulted her, well, approached it's, her. It's probably that. true. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt on that, but yeah. it, it doesn't make it okay to, like, sexually assault a 17 year old boy. A yeah. minor, which is a crime, which basically is very on par with Kevin Spacey did. Now, Kevin Spacey did not have sex with this person, but he did proposition this person, and he admitted to it. He said, I might have been drunk at this party, and I might have tried to coax this young man. Have sex with yeah, him, but I, I knew this he too. declined and he didn't do it. But still, so Blue's bringing up something I already knew about. They, well, no, I, I, just, I was just curious. Yeah, the age of consent in Italy is 14. Okay, but it, it doesn't matter because you're in America and he still considers it sexual assault. So, yeah, it should go by the same rules as every single woman that has been sexually assaulted by a man. Uh, I hope that she faces consequences for this. But I think that's fucking bullshit. I'm tired of seeing. Uh, women out there that get a lesser sentence because they're a woman, basically, than a man. Mm. And that's and that's something that, that nobody wants to talk about, is that, especially when it comes to, like, sexual assault, or actually any fucking crime, a woman always gets, almost always gets fucking less time than a man. Almost. There's a few instances. I mean, most people are, are aware of the Jody Arias case where she killed her boyfriend. She got the book thrown in her. Yeah. So, but there are other cases. Oh, way more. Way more where <laughs> there's, where, I mean, we're having, I know someone who continually posts stories about female teachers having sex with they're students that oh, are yeah. either under age. In some cases, they're still. In some cases, they are 18. Like they waited, but still, they still face consequences because they still violate, uh, you know, their work ethic by having sex with someone that they. they you it's know, the, it's they that whole like. A lot uh, of them don't get fucking jail time. Yeah, some oh, some yeah. do, some don't. Some there's been cases where there's been women who have not faced jail time for having sex with minors. All they have to do is pay a fine, and they're able to walk free. Versus if this was a man, you're looking at at least, you know, eight to ten years. 
You know what's kind of and being labeled a sex offender depending on your state. You know what's kind of sad because there's a movie out there by Adam Sandler and the dude from Brooklyn Nine Nine. I can't remember that fucking name. Oh, uh, Andy Samberg. Yeah, and that movie. The premise of that movie is that he has the a kid has sex with his teacher while he's a minor and he, she gets pregnant. And so, like, the, the teacher goes to jail, but then, like, later on in life, he, like, comes back and try to raise his son. And I think there's, like, maybe a five- or ten-year difference between the two or something like that. Between but it's supposed to be a comedy, but, like... It is a comedy. When it first came out, I was like, this is dumb as fuck. This is not... This is not fucking... This isn't a comedy. This is real shit that's happening that shouldn't be made fun of. So, yes, part of the movie is loosely... The part about him having sex with the teacher was loosely based off of the Mary Letourneau case. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, with the eighth grader who had sex with this... With his teacher. The teacher already had three kids with her husband. He, the eighth grader got her pregnant. They were saying that they were soulmates. When she went on parole... They were caught in the backseat of a car fucking by her parole officer. She became pregnant again after that encounter. By her a parole officer? Damn. Her parole, her parole officer, because she wasn't checking in. So he came, she, the parole officer came in to see where they were, and they, the parole officer caught them in the backseat of a car. She was pregnant from that encounter, so he got her pregnant twice. Yeah. So she had two kids with, this, with an eighth grader, and then later on, I think he was a freshman or sophomore in high school and he ha- he literally had to raise kids when he was in middle school now she did jail time of course because she was in jail still i think she recently just got out but still this woman had a family beforehand which is crazy to me well it looks like the the asia Arigino. asia argento, argento. argento. Yeah. um she has kids she has four kids god dang Wait, where did I see that at? She might. I don't know. No, she's got two kids. Still. With her partner, Marco, something of another. And? Well, no, she she has kids, and they're, like, of age, and, like, she's having sex with an age That's younger person. than her kids? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, how old is her kid? Actually, one of my old bosses, she was dating a guy that was younger than both of her kids. And then he got her pregnant. Ski, 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 ski. <laughs> He wasn't high school or anything, but he's pretty close. Hello. Yeah, this is all bad. You know that if this was her man, there'd be all so, kind of me too. Her youngest daughter is 17. Well, well, he's older than her now. Well, yeah, now. But, like, holy shit. Oh, that's crazy. Still, it's that's all bad, dude. Her's, all kinds of bad. Her so, other kid's nine, so. The question is, has she been brought up on charges? Has any, any law enforcement uh, come after yeah, her? Yeah, I think so, because he was... Uh, accusing her of sexual assault, so I'm pretty sure it took it to court. I hope so. Well, I heard there were court documents for sure. Oh, well, yeah, it got, uh, she paid him off. So, yeah, it did go, it did go to court, and then okay. she paid him. Wait, I fucking, like... Oh. No, I'm mean, looking at the kid. I, I've seen him in, like, in other shows. and They're in a movie together. Well, I've, only, I've never seen her in a movie before, so... <laughs> if you've seen Triple uh, X, she's in that. He said the kid, though. Oh, this dude! This kid was in um. Oh, what's the name of that fucking movie? He was in um. Oh, I gotta look it up and see. Uh, no, uh, he was in uh, No Ordinary Family, which is about this movie about a family that got superpowers. Oh, the, and the show on ABC or whatever? Yeah, and the dad, the dad, the dad plays um the thing in the family in yeah, the it's, uh, Michael Chiklis, the human penis. Yeah, uh, no, Mike, no, not that version. Michael, yeah, Michael, Michael Chiklis, the oh, yeah. penis. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he does like because <laughs> yeah, he's always bald. But he also played the young James Kirk in uh, the Star Trek movie. Oh, the movie where like he steals his his stepfather's car and like drives off a fucking bridge. Oh yeah, yeah, the human pe- penis. He plays the executioner on uh, Gotham. That's awesome. Does he really? Oh yeah, yeah, that guy. That guy. But no, the kid who was a commissioner, sexual. Former commissioner. Yeah, he was. Former. Yeah, the guy who had sex with uh, the Asia, Asia, whatever. Asia Argento. Yeah, she, that kid played uh, young James T. Kirk in the Star Trek movie, but he also was in uh, Amityville Horror movie. Damn, he's this, damn. That's so fucked up. Yep. All right. That she paid him off. That's, uh, you guys want to get into some uh, Ask Me Then BTIs? Oh, yeah. Sure. So I think all the ones on here, I put on here. Really? All right. So this is from Blue. It's Saturday morning and you're a kid again. What cartoon do you dare not miss and what cereal is in your bowl? Blue, since it's your question. So mine's, I'm actually going to give two of them. So mine's is the Smurf. 
as well as the snorks because they're pretty much the same goddamn characters yeah but um the steer that's in my bowl is fucking lucky charms like hands down like that was my favorite cereal as a kid that's a pretty good one uh i'm going to pick uh transformers or gi joe and i'll <coughs> on be on saturday mm-hmm. yeah it's on saturday Huh. And then I'll be eating uh, Captain Crunch with the uh, berries in it. Oh, that I, was fucking great. I haven't had fucking cereal in so goddamn long. <laughs> Damn. I, I forgot about break, Crunch Berries. Breakfast, so, yeah. Damn. Oh, did you? I'm trying to think. I'd probably be trying to watch... Damn. Uh, Thundercatch. It's a good one. It was on. And uh, Fraggle Rock. Even though it's not a cartoon. And that wasn't Saturday morning. Yeah, that was yeah, like was Friday night at That's HBO. HBO, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I think they repeated it in the morning. Because uh, I wouldn't be up Friday night. Oh, there was an animated version of the Freckle Rocks. There was. Oh, yeah. I'd be watching Muppet Babies. Muppet Babies, oh, yeah. Saturday morning, and Thundercats. Cereal, I'd probably be eating just... Mr. Teeth here? No. <laughs> no, I'd probably eat uh, Fruity Pebbles. Nice. Was, back when they actually looked like Fruity Pebbles. And back when they're extra soggy as soon as you put milk on them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, speaking of Saturday morning cartoons and Thundercats, uh, you can watch the latest run of Thundercats on uh, Verve right now. Oh, yeah. Really? Which is really fucking good. Wait, the Cartoon that. Network version? Yes. Okay. Yes. Damn, that's, that version of Thundercats was amazing. Like, yeah. it's Voltron on Netflix amazing. That's how yeah, good it was. It was. <laughs> it was cool because they didn't crash land on that planet. Mm-hmm. Lionel was still young. Yeah. They were still, like, they were trying. Traveling to different planets. Mm-hmm. His dad was still alive. Um, what's his name? Who's the old dude? The Obi Wan dude. Oh wait, no, the guy. Mamar? No, Mam- Mamar. Mamar. Not the bad guy, but no, the... not. The, but he was uh, Lionel's mentor. He's still alive. I was um, the Snarf? No, not Snarf. Snarf. <laughs> no. Are you talking about the guy with the, he the, died. the black dude? No, not. They get his not, arm chopped off. Not Panthro. He, he's the the he dies in the very first episode of the original. Talking. Well, he supposedly dies. He lo- yeah. He looks like fucking Obi Wan. He looks like Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's the one who always is in Lionel's ear. He tells him about his destiny. He's alive in the show. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's the one that like tr- that's training him to how to use yeah, his he, yeah. he trains him to be the next king, pretty yeah. much. Well, you can watch the first two episodes for free on Verve without an account. So Really? And I think you can watch... All the episodes, at least you have like uh, Crunchyroll Prime, because I've been able, not Crunchyroll Prime, no. but like pr- a Crunchyroll account. No, you have to have a Verb account to watch the rest. So I have a Crunchyroll account and I can't watch past episode two. Really? Yeah. I need to get like a Verb account. But I'm, I, this is the only reason why I don't get a Verb account is because I'm worried that if I get a Verb account and I go to the Crunchyroll Expo this year, that I won't get the cool like pass. Swag. Yeah. Uh, we have another B's and BTI. And it's another one I threw on here. Okay. So, so my question is, uh, what's your favorite condiment? Uh, the ranch dressing. Mine's mustard. Cereal? What the fuck? Just um, only only on hot dogs. Like, I don't know. Like, I prefer mustard on my hot dogs over ketchup. Like, fuck ketchup. Um, for me, it's uh, chipotle mayo. Mayo or ketchup? Chipotle mayo. Chipotle. Okay. Dude, have you... What? You ever had curry fucking ketchup? Yeah, I was going to say. That's a good one, too. Oh, From, yeah, uh, I have. There's a place... There's the a St. Place. John's in uh, San Jose. Yeah, yeah, St. They John's. Serve, they yeah. serve chipotle. It's fucking Yeah, that good. shit's fucking delicious. I, I was like, this isn't ketchup. It looks weird. But then I ate it with the fries. This is fucking good as Especially fuck. Especially sweet potato fries. Woo! Man, man, that shit's a wrap. So if, fire in the booth, yeah. If anybody's here from the Bay Area, uh, there's a place called St. John's it's off the of Lawrence Expressway down in Sunnyvale. Go there, get a burger and some fries. I oh, know they don't. Yeah, you gotta get go burger. after four. Yeah, go after four because it, a lot of times their food is half off. But um, yeah, get their curry ketchup and their fucking sweet potato fries, and man, you be in fucking heaven. This shit's fucking delicious. Fire in the booth, yeah. Well, there was a was there another question in the chat room? Oh, probably. Like when we first signed on. There was, but it's what I thought we answered, and I... Did we? Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't go back up that far because I had to restart my screen. Oh, that's fine. I think it was... Oh, it was who from um, Cow- Cowboy Bebop would you rather smash with Faye Valentine and somebody else? Uh, was it the... Uh, yeah. What's the name's girl? Yeah. The girl that... um The guy was chasing after, right? Uh, yeah, I can't remember the you know, I'm trying to think. Well, no, he'll, once he hears this, he will know. So, well, oh, oh. we got to for him to catch up. <laughs> yeah, it's like a delay. Probably should have just typed to him. 
Well, because there was Faye Valentine, and then there was, like, that chick that Spike was chasing after of. Yeah, yeah. I hope he wasn't talking about Edward, because that chick was I, underage. I said Faye. It, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't Edward. Eh? Dude, who was the chick that, that what's the name, Spike was trying to smash? Smash. Because, like, his whole thing was trying to find her again. Who in the chat's got that answer? Help us out. Somebody trying to Eric? think. Hold on. Nobody knows. Cowboy Bebop. Waifus. Nobody knows. Was it Julia? There's a Julia on the show? I don't know. I can yeah, it was Julia. Julie. Ju- Julia? J-U-L-I-A? No. This chick. No, it's not her. Not her? No. Whom did you? There's somebody else. No okay. idea. Fucking us all. All right. Well, until he answers, uh, what is the hashtag uh, MTB so fake? So I put uh, well, this on here too. I saw the Post Malone performance and I was like, he's not even singing. Wow. Like he wasn't even. It was just a song. Yeah. So um, there's been some videos that have been posted after the MTV Awards, and one of them, there's some girls. They're like trying to get because. A lot of people know where the MTV Music Awards are going to be at. So there's some girls trying to get in, and security is telling them, like, oh, no, you can't come in. Like, right now, we're just filming with, like, actors. But, like, actors as in, like, them walking down the red carpet, there's actors on the side, like, pretending like they're actually people. But then, like, um, on a local radio station I was listening to, one of the girls, her sister, is a DJ for another area, and she was there. And she said, like, when, uh, Nicki, when Nicki Minaj performed, for the VMAs, they actually filmed it in different segments. So she performed the song over and over again, but they filmed it and aired it as one big fucking piece. And that's what they aired on TV. So the, sh- the show, for all- for one thing, isn't fucking live. It's all fucking edited. Well, but like no everybody Coast. everybody in the audience are paid actors. Like uh, like uh, people who are like down by the stage, like screaming and stuff like that. They're all paid actors. Hold on. I'm going to interject on this. Some of those people are real actors not necessarily actors because my sister's done this but it when uh she did this like years ago but what do you do is you go to a site it's called seat filler and when they don't have enough people you basically win your a trip or you basically win a seat to these events where they put you in basically to fill the areas to make it look like it's full so So they they fly you out no how do they do not she was in the area she lived near in the area near the event, took the seat filler, she drove out to where it was and managed to meet like a shit ton of celebrities. But it was but free, right? The for her? her for the to get into the event, free, yes. Then that would be considered a paid actor. But <laughs> she's like, you know, she it's basically a ticket to an event. It's like winning a ticket to a radio station or from a radio station. Yeah, but you're not I don't know. I, they didn't give her extra money, they didn't pay her a hotel. Okay. But yeah, it, the, the whole thing, and like, um, there was another thing that was brought up that was like, um, only performers that were there got awards. So like, best that's, album of the year went that's all to the time. no, but like, oh, best album of the year went to like a person who album was just okay, but the person who like had the bomb ass album didn't win just because they weren't there. So he was asking, uh, Electra Olivia Ovilio, who is the cop that was chasing. Uh, Spike or uh, Faye Valentine. I'm I would Faye because she literally defines anime titties. <laughs> yeah. So. Damn. Yeah. I don't even remember that chick. That's how like. You remember this chick? No. You remember this? Oh. Like I, I can't even think what scene she was in. Was she like in one episode? No, she was in a whole bunch of episodes. She was like chasing him like the whole time. Like, like this is like a fight scene with him. In, like the first episode. I, uh, man, I do remember that oh, scene. Yeah. That's, that's a pretty sick fight scene. He's fighting her with a broom. Yeah, because, dude, fucking Spike was badass at his, at martial arts. So, I have a confession to make. I have never seen Cowboy Bebop. What the fuck? Yeah. Damn. So, I'll, I'll try to bring up the two pictures if I can. So, I, I couldn't comment on this. I've dude, never Cowboy Bebop had, like, one of the best intros, too. Oh, I yeah, heard that I, jazz? So, it was on, and every time I tried watching it, it'd be on uh, Toonami, and it was really late. And I'd be like, either I can sleep or try to stay up and watch this. Like, I wonder if the, the Japanese version of the intro was as dope as the American one. I don't know. Yeah, they were the same. They were? Okay. Yeah. Because it's like one, two, three, all let's go. The, yeah. <laughs> you all see they're trying to do dun, 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 dun. So, some anime news. They're trying to do a Cowboy Bebop live action. Y'all see this? Mm-mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I heard about it. And then uh, apparently 
Death Note she's uh No part, Death Note live action part two No Greenlit why? by Netflix. What the the first one was so fucking horrible. Oh my god that I, like if I had died after watching that, am I like if I had one like one minute to write down one last thing, I'd be like Fuck Death Note. Do not watch this bullshit garbage. It is horrible. And I'll just croak. <laughs> That'd be my last word. Like, I want people at my funeral. They're like, yeah, Blue's last word was Death Note. Fuck Death Note. Was Live action. Movie. Oh, I was so fucking bad. Oh, I was so bad. Part ah. two, bitches. Why? Part two. Why? Green lit. And, and you words, know it's going to go down. And words of uh, CeeLo Green. Why? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> God dang. What? Uh, Damn, rage quit. Fuck, why, man? Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, that shit was so goddamn bad. So I saw the news today, and I was like, this can't be real. And sure enough. Like, I want one of you guys to watch it and be like, yep. yeah, this shit Ooh. was fucking garbage. I fi- it took me a minute, but I finally watched all of Death Note, the animated series. Yeah, that shit's fucking good. So I was like, after I finished, because I was watching with my roommate, and he's like, Shh, I don't know how I feel about watching live action. Everyone says it's trash. I'm like, well, we could watch it, but I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if I want to sit there and watch trash. Like I remember when uh, when it first when it came out, Prodigy and I we were at we went to Crunchyroll, and there was that there was this one booth, and they we brought up the whole Death Note thing, and they liked it. And man, I was like, you know what? I'm just walking away. Fuck Damn. you. Damn. <laughs> you got bad fucking taste, man. I'm sorry. That shit was so bad. It was so good. Anybody in the chat room right now, or even if you're listening to this podcast, like on SoundCloud, just comment and be like, yeah, I watched it and it was fucking bad. Well, just leave your comments or whatever when you thought it was yeah. bad or good. If you matter. thought it was good, you know, just, you know, stop, stop listening to the podcast. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Dude, it was so bad. Oh my. Like, the only good thing about the entire movie was the the Shirigami. It being played by, uh, what's the name? Shinigami. Shit, yeah. Shit, Shinigami? Shinigami. Shit, Shimi. Not Shibidem- Shirigami. Shibidem- Bingo? Not Shirigami. Shinigami. <laughs> Shinigami. Anyways, the deaf guy. Him being played by, um, what's the name? Was really well done. Uh, oh, he was uh, Willem Dafoe, wasn't he? Willem Dafoe. He was he looks, that he, person. He looks like a Shinigami. Yeah, like even when he played um, Green Goblin in Spider Man, he was yeah. pretty much Shinigami. Shinigami. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. That's all bad. He was Rook. Yeah, but Rook. uh, yeah, it's all bad. Ryuk. Ryuk. Yeah. Ryuk. So yeah. That's easier to say than Shirigami. Yeah. <laughs> so I've heard reports that the live action uh, with Full Metal Alchemist is actually decent. Oh, that was bad too. Well, I heard that the uh, what was it? Not Samurai X, but what was it called Kenshin? Yeah, was pretty good. I haven't watched it, so I cannot... But that's like the Japanese version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It wasn't American. I tried watching it, but the, um, the sources I was using couldn't subtitle it correctly. Because it would pull the subtitles from the animated series and not uh, from the movie, so... Oh, we have a question from the chat. Trigun or Desert Punk? Oh, Trigun. Oh, Trigun. So, yeah. I've, I've never seen Trigun, so Desert Punk. Desert Punk was Desert Punk is funny. thirsty. Yeah. De- yeah, so Desert Punk was about... Anime titties and money. Yes. This is literally what it's about. And I love anime titties or titties in general. So that's got to win. The only thing I didn't like about Desert Punk is I felt like the last like two episodes, they completely changed the character. But he tried to justify that he's always been the same. I'm like, I guess, but not really. Because he fundamentally changes throughout the course of the series. So, I don't Dude, that Death Note chip was basically announced today. Yeah. That there's yeah. going to be a fucking sequel. Oh, what's today? I saw it earlier, so... Yeah, there but with Trigun, it had, like... I mean, he was a little bit thirsty, too. He was, like... Actually, what, he wasn't chasing, like, girls like crazy, but, like... I don't know, it had a little bit more of a backstory to it, and, like, the two the two being angels and stuff like that was kind of cool, and, you know, him going, like, all out and trying to kill off his brother, basically, it was kind of fucking dope. So it's, it's a cool fucking storyline. Interesting. So, are we going to talk about... We may get a new president in the next couple of months or not. Nah. Well, I mean, the curtain is almost closed. <laughs> so, I mean, they've indicted and found guilty a whole bunch of people that were involved with uh, President Trump, including his former attorney. 
And so, and his attorney is implicating him on using campaign funds to cover up a crime. Well, not really cover. It's not a crime. Not cover up a crime, but cover up him Have fucking it. Stormy Daniels and some other people, like the other kinds of crimes and like fraud and shit like that. So Sounds that's bad. pretty bad. And to me, that is a uh, that's an impeachable offense. Like if you want, if if you use money to influence an election. That's really bad. So that's yeah, like, I believe that is exactly illegal. Yeah, yeah, it is illegal. <laughs> so, it's like uh, Watergate shit. So we know yeah. what's, what's funny is, like the the forty five supporters are gonna be like, oh, it's it's the media, it's the the what is it, the right that are but a judge paying money said, to have these people do this and that so they can have the best president in the world be indicted so they can be brought down so they can bring somebody else in that they can control and stuff like that. The like, next no. person they bring in would be my, uh, fucking the vice president. Yeah, it would be Mike Pence, which yeah. is even worse. Yeah. Well, potentially worse. At least Mike Pence is probably smarter than President Trump, but uh, he's not a good person. I mean, <laughs> you know. He has a lot of weird ideologies. He's sure. super religious. That's why I don't, I don't... But his religion is like some weird like fucking 1800 fucking yeah. orthodox Fucking, I don't know. I don't even know. Orthodox Mason, maybe some. It's like some. I don't want to say he's even super Christian. It doesn't even sound like it. It sounds like some shit that he made well, it's, up. It's biblical uh, Christian shit. So if you read the Bible, what he goes by is by the Bible. So he, I feel like he's twisted it to make his own political advances yeah. from his interpretation you of the Bible. Probably read the entire Bible. I've read. A lot of it, yeah, not all of it. That's what everybody. When I say that, I can al- I always know somebody to read the Bible. I know someone that's read the entire Bible. Yeah, I've read the whole thing, and it's not good. So I didn't read it. <laughs> I can tell you that for a fact. I read. Yeah. I read a lot of it, but I only read John. I only read John three sixteen just because I wanted to that's know what one the verse. Fuck it was about. Oh, you want to know what Stone Cold was about? <laughs> but no, because that was the thing that, like, at baseball games, people always had, like, the sign that said John 316. It was even before Steve Cohen, uh, Stone Cold, Stone Cold Steve Austin. But, like, I think it was, like, and you know God what? looked down upon them with, like, go Mets. Oh. Uh, I don't know what the fuck it was. <laughs> it makes me wonder if you held up that sign if someone would throw a beer at you. I'm just saying. <laughs> Maybe. All right. well, it's a Stone Cold reference, guy. Dang it. Well, we're kind of light on subjects today, so I said we just drop it early. Sure. You guys good? I blue. Yeah, we pretty much we covered a lot. Everything good. All right, we just so, didn't go long as normal. That is true. And if Prodigy was here, we'd probably be still arguing about Asia Argento. Th- to me, there's no argument. Hmm. Yeah, there's it's if, the evidence is if fucking. He would have brought he would have brought something else up, and it would have turned into a flaming rant. Like if if he was 18, I'd be like, you lucky motherfucker. But since he was underage, it's like, dude, that's fucking wrong. Was, well, uh, even if he was 18, the way that she did it, it's still yeah. sexual assault. It was unwarranted. Yeah, and I would say if it's true. This is a shit, but she paid the guy. Yeah, she, yeah. yeah that's and she, not a lot of money either. So, so hey, three hundred eighty thousand. That's kind of a lot. For yeah, me. but other people pay like millions. So, uh, like Trump. Uh, <laughs> well, she paid yeah. him hush money, so she paid him. No, because she, she didn't pay it. Well, Anthony Bourdain paid. He got paid is because he had the intent to sue. They paid him, so he did not sue. Basically. So either way, it's it's not a good look. Yeah, if somebody uh, accuses me of something I didn't do, I'm going to court. Oh yeah. So yeah, let the court figure it out. God dang. Anyway, uh, old ninja, what you got? Uh, so I went back to Destiny because their new the stripper or the game. Oh, so what, ha- what, ha- <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, bro. Uh, STDs and pregnancies. Yeah. So uh, they have their new. DLC dropping in about two weeks. So they're doing their, you know, end of the year stuff. Like you can finish all these events before they basically. End of the summer? No, end of the. It's like end of the season. So they have their season three stuff before their new DLC drops or whatnot. So uh, the game is supposed to update on the 28th with some new stuff to it ahead of the big DLC stuff. So I've been on that, uh, also doing some No Man's Sky. Prodigy and I have been talking about uh, doing more Twitch stuff. We're trying to get the rest of the cast involved so we can bring you guys more Twitch content from us. Um, So we're trying to 
come up with something. We have to talk with everyone else. But I mean, you, at, the, at the moment, you should be able to see some Twitch content from us. Uh, recently, I think there's some Battlefield One stuff. There might be some other stuff from uh, from Stitch on there. Um, but just look forward for more stuff from us. Uh, just keep an eye on our Twitch page. Uh, other than that, oh, I'm going to some weird concert tomorrow. I guess it's like a bunch of indie bands that some DJs remixing all over the place. I got somehow duped into it, so I guess I'm going out tomorrow. Should be cool. All right, cool. Blue, what you got? So, if you don't know, if you haven't listened to this podcast for like the last year, your boy Blue's been married for a little bit, and uh, my anniversary's coming up this weekend. So, Yay. this Saturday is the Sweetness and I's one year anniversary, so we're actually going out of town. We're going up to Lake Tahoe. Oh, shit! And I've never been to Lake Tahoe in the summertime, so I'm actually kind of like curious about what the fuck this place looks like without Dude, snow all the fuck. It's actually, over. it's really nice in the you summer. You saw it during, uh... That Spartan run. Oh, yeah. It well, was in summer, but there was no fucking snow. There was, yeah, but it snowed like, the next fucking day, oh, though. Yeah, that, but we were there for that the next day. But, yeah. I mean, I, I got to see uh, Squaw... Was it Squaw Valley? Or, yeah, Squaw, yeah, Squaw Valley. We saw, I saw Squaw Valley with no snow, but I, I don't remember a lot of stuff because that God, shit was like... Because you were drunk? No, I wasn't drunk. drunk came like, out? No, I was fucking sore. <laughs> my, I was like... I went inside my body or whatever. But, um, so, yeah. So, her, uh, Sweetest and I were going to be doing that this weekend. So, we're going to be going hot air ballooning, which... Suck and sounds fucking dope as hell. Uh, they were also gonna go get a couple massage, which I, I mentioned last week, and there's not gonna be any happy ending. Well, not at the massage place, but mm-hmm. yeah. we'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Just slip him an extra twenty, bro. Uh, but yeah, I, I got Sweetness a uh, one year gift because like the first year is supposed to be paper themed, so I got her something that's similar paper theme. But um, I was gonna say also, oh, I've been trying to catch up with my anime, so I'm like four behind on my My Hero Academia. But um, after I'm finished with that, I'm gonna continue watching um, Darling of Franks. But there's this so there's this other show on uh, v- uh, Verve called uh, Bravest Warriors, and it's so fucking funny, dude. It's it's probably like the same creator as um, Adventure Time, and it's worth checking out. I will check it out. All right, and for me, uh, just going to my oldest daughter. She's had a surprise birthday or a surprise party for her last week here, and she leaves on Sunday, so it's gonna be really cool to uh, do that for her. Check it. And after some. that, I'm gonna get down to uh, make the, making the foundation for the new Infinity Base, and then building the new Infinity Base in September. So y'all look forward to uh, this not being in a garage anymore. Nice. Yeah. All right. It's so, cold and damp in here. So check us out on the interwebs at Bees and BTI. Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram. Uh, check out our Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Beats and BTI. Our official website, binheadproductions.com forward slash Beats and BTI. Uh, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Player FM, Apple Podcasts. Write us, comment. Rate us five stars, motherfuckers. That's if you it. like us, if you don't like us. 